Hey everybody, this is Heidi from the blog Hands Occupied with another knitting tutorial for you today. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this super fun little washcloth using two favorite, all-time favorite yarns for making washcloths, Scrubby and Sugar and Cream. So to make this washcloth, which is very beginner friendly, you're going to need some scrubby yarn and some sugar and cream yarn, or scrubby yarn and whatever cotton that you have that you prefer to work with. And this is one of those projects where you hold two strands of yarn together as if they're just one strand. So you can see here in the cast on I did to get ready for this video, I've got the two yarns held together and I used colors that I think will be able to be seen on camera pretty well. This green yarn is the cotton and the pink yarn is the scrubby. And we hold them together as if they're a yarn that just comes twisted um, and we work them just held together like they're one in the same. So let me show you what I mean by that. So we've got our cast on here and we're gonna hold these two strands together like so, pierce through both the pink and the green yarn and wrap our knit stitch with both strands and bring it off the end of our needle. And by holding these two favorite washcloth yarns together, you're getting kind of the benefits of both. The nice thing about the cotton is that it brings a little bit of softness and density to this washcloth we're making, and the scrubby brings the grit. So it's a nice thing to have if you really want a washcloth to help you exfoliate in the shower, or if you wanna use it as a rag that has a little bit of grit to it. So you can see, now that I've worked one row holding these two together, that it's basically this really funky yarn that you've kind of DIY'd into something a little bit different than you would find at the store. So let's take a look at what the full washcloth looks like. You can see the lovely garter stitch bumps all the way across it and that this project has no right side or wrong side. And this washcloth, it's really just a matter of knitting every single row until it hits the size you want it to hit, and then you're good to go. And also, because this is a washcloth, there's no need to worry about blocking it or dealing with any of that fancy stuff if you don't want to. So if you guys have any tips or tricks for yarns you like or projects you like for making scrubbies and washcloths, go ahead and let us know in the comments. And that's also a great place to reach out if you have any questions as well. Don't forget to tune in again soon for even more knitting video tutorials. Mm -hmm.